a ball is dropped from a 100 foot building, how far will it have traveled when it hits the ground for the 10th time? The ball loses 25% of its height after each bounce. Okay, so let's draw a picture. That's the first thing you wanna do. Here's our 100 foot building. You're dropping the ball, and then no, notice what happens. It goes up, and then it comes back down. So what's happening is it's traveling up. It's traveling back down. Same thing on the next bounce, it's going up and down. So what's happening is that even though it's losing 25% of its height, so for example, when you drop it the first time, that's 100, then it's only going up 75 feet, but it's also traveling down 75 feet as well. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna look at a few of these terms in the sequence. So the first term is 100, right? Okay, then the next term is gonna be 75. Okay, and then the next term after that, of course you're gonna have two of these, right? The next term after that's gonna be uh, 75 percent of 75 and then the next term of that is going to be 75 percent of that and because it's losing 25 percent it's retaining 75 percent of its height so the way I recommend doing this problem is let's ignore the 100 feet when it initially falls okay let's just work with these ones where it's going up and down and what we're going to do is we're going to treat it as a geometric sequence okay and we're going to add up all those terms in the sequence that makes it a series and the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the formula s sub n equals a sub 1 1 minus r to the n all divided by 1 minus r so this is the formula you want to use when it's a finite geometric series r is the ratio okay that's what you're multiplying by each time that's 75 percent okay and then the first term is a sub 1 and again, this R is also the uh, ratio, what you're multiplying by to get to the next term, and N is the number of terms. So what we're gonna do is, the first time it bounces up here, that's gonna be our first term. We're gonna treat that as 75 feet. The ratio is 0.75. And then what happens is you can see it's gonna go up and down, okay? Even though when it hits that uh, ground for the 10th time, it's not continuing. So there's gonna be nine terms from here to here. So N is gonna be nine, all divided by 1 minus 0.75 and then what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to double it because we want to count the up and down so that's going to be times 2 plus we're going to add that initial drop that 100 uh, feet drop and so that's going to be 100 so this will give us the total distance traveled and uh, I hope uh, that makes sense to you if not go ahead and take a look at the video again it's just a geometric series and uh, I'll see you in the next video